Welcome to my weekly roundup. Well, this week the Prime Minister, of course, announced the roadmap out of lockdown, but there's going to be very little chance for Parliament to discuss this or even vote on it. So I'll continue to watch closely the differential impact on different sectors, and I hope the budget it provides better financial support for those sectors and individuals still unable to work. But schools are back physically from the 8th of March for all pupils, which is good for them, but also for those parents who've been juggling homeschooling and t uh, work, or indeed haven't been able to work because of homeschooling. The Public Accounts Committee looked at the support for people who were shielded in the first lockdown, and we also examined the state of single living accommodation for our armed forces. This is the same accommodation that a minister described as good enough for our armed forces, so good enough for asylum seekers referring, of course, to those asylum seekers housed in an old barracks. Well, our inquiries have shown that some of this accommodation isn't fit for anybody to live in. And the fire safety bill came back to the Commons this week, but unfortunately the government reused its majority to talk it out and not allow a vote on the key amendment, which would have meant that leaseholders didn't have to foot the bankrupt bill, bill bankrupting bills on the removal of cladding from their blocks. There's still some work to do on this, but this bill have kind of run out of road now and we're unlikely to win a success. So I'm looking to the building safety bill, which is due in Parliament in the next couple of months. The vaccine is rolling out in Hackney, so when you get your letter or your call, please say yes, it helps you, but it also protects our community, including our local businesses.